Critical hits are the most emotional moments in video games, and Pokemon is no exception. Everyone knows what it feels like to get hit by a critical hit at exactly the wrong time. To Game Freak's credit though, critical hits have been made less impactful over time, but these changes have accidentally created a new type of strategy in competitive singles Pokemon. In Generation 1, critical hits used to be dependent on your speed stat, and some of the best Pokemon had critical hit chances above 20%. In Generation 2, this was reduced to a flat 1 out of 16 chance to crit, and in Generation 6, the damage output of critical hits was changed from times 2 to times 1.5. Finally, in Generation 7, the critical hit rate was dropped once again to 1 out of 24, a 4% chance. These decades of changes have culminated into creating a new type of strategy that has never been popular before, the Crit Me Not Sweeper. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you've ever played mobile games, you would have heard of Raid Shadow Legends, and that's for a good reason. It continues to be one of the best mobile games on the market, bringing an actual console-like experience to your phone. There are over 600 champions, each with their own unique skills and hundreds of artifacts that you can equip to the champions. You can explore millions of champion combinations and master the tactics to become the best. That's one of my favorite parts. You can use your strategies versus raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and even PvP arena matches. There are over 600 champions, but even I have my favorites. I love using Raglan and Anger. Raglan is the ultimate support champion and is the best reviver in raid. Her aura gives a huge defense boost and she can not only heal allies but can revive them too. She's a fun champion without being overpowered. I also like Anger, the legendary orc. Anger is a HB Void legendary champion and he's very different from Raglan but just as fun. His strategy revolves around the provoke mechanic and he can shut down entire teams. Also, it is Raid's 3 month anniversary so the celebrations are going to be huge. So start playing the game before then so you can really take advantage. Until then, they've also released new champion skins for you to stylize your champions. I personally like the Prophet skin the most. There's also more. If you click the link in the description or scan my QR code, you get a free starter pack worth $40 which has 3 free champions, Misery Cord, Tiger Soul, and Romero. It also comes with 10 Magic XP Brews, 10 Force XP Brews, and 10 Spirits. That is a lot of value. It's that easy and all you need to do is click the link in the description in the game and I'll see you there. A Sweeper in competitive Pokemon is a Pokemon designed to win the game outright, like a Quiver Dance Volcarona. They typically use setup moves like Dragon Dance, Shell Smash, or Quiver Dance, and they try to win the game immediately. They come in after the rest of the team has weakened the necessary Pokemon, and then they get their broom out and sweep the opponent's team away. They can be offensive Pokemon like Dragon Dance Salamence or Swords Dance Halucha, or they can be bulky sweepers like Combine Suicune. A good sweep is one of the most exciting events in competitive Pokemon. The Crit Me Not Sweeper is a type of sweeper that mainly became popular in Generation 8, and it doesn't use offensive boosting moves like Calm Mind or Dragon Dance. Instead, it only uses defensive boosting moves like Cosmic Power, Amnesia, or Iron Defense. Then, it tries to sweep with either Stored Power or Body Press, a new move introduced in Generation 8 that uses your defense stat. Once a Pokemon starts boosting up both defense stats, it becomes very difficult to KO. But, this strategy has never been good before, because no matter how unprepared your team is, you could always crit through these bulky, do-nothing Pokemon. When a Pokemon is boosting only its defensive stats, it's not very threatening at all. Unlike a move that boosts offenses and defenses like Calm Mind, it's only a threat after it boosts many times in a row and its stored power or body presses start doing insane damage. That means for many turns, until it reaches a max boost, it's a sitting duck that can be attacked many times until a critical hit breaks through. This is a risk that's not worth it in generations with more likely crits and crits that do more damage. In the worst case scenario, there's a natural counter and the Pokemon does nothing anyway, but even in the best case scenario, you are exposing yourself to many, many crit chances. In fact, at some point, you become more likely to get crit than not get crit. In Generation 8, however, critical hits are only a 1 by 24 chance and they only do 1.5 times damage. This means critical hits are not only very unlikely, but some bulky Pokemon don't even mind getting crit anyway because they can tank one crit from full health. The key distinction between a Crit Me Not Sweeper and a bulky sweeper like Calm Mind Rest Suicune is that when you boost offenses, you limit the counterplay options the opponent has because they have to respect the threat of your own powerful attacks. Crit Me Not Sweepers have become popular in every tier in competitive Pokemon, from Uberus to Little Cup. The reason why they really gained popularity in Generation 8 and not Generation 7 is because Generation 8 gave a lot of new Pokemon Cosmic Power and Stored Power and introduced Body Press. The best Crit Me Not Sweepers have ways around common ideas like Taunt, Toxic, or Haze. The best example of this new Generation 8 strategy is Mew in OU, the standard tier. In OU, Mew uses Taunt, Recover, Cosmic Power, and Stored Power. Because of Mew's natural speed, it can outspeed most bulky Pokemon that try to use Taunt or Toxic versus it. 
Furthermore, Taunt Mew lets it taunt other setup sweepers that may try to boost alongside Mew and taunt Pokemon with Haze, like Toxapex. The only way to beat it is to use a Pokemon that is faster and has taunt or toxic, but that is easier said than done. Only Tornadus Therian can do that. Besides that, you either need a Dark type or you need to crit. Mew based teams have clever ways of beating Dark types. The most common Dark type is Weavile, so Mew teams use Baneful Bunker Toxapex or Flame Body Heatran with the hope of getting a status condition on Dark types like Weavile. If the Dark type gets status, then the Mew can stall out the Dark type. Mew is an excellent Crit Me Not sweeper because of its fast taunt. Similarly, Cosmic Power Stored Power Clefable is a great sweeper too. While Clefable can be taunted and cannot stop opposing Pokemon from using Swords Dance or Nasty Plot, in exchange it has a better defensive typing and Magic Guard to be completely immune to status conditions. It can also use moves like Charge Beam or Meteor Beam to gain special attack. Clefable also takes advantage of its versatility. Clefable is well known for being able to use many different movesets effectively. Cosmic Power Clefable can definitely catch an opponent off guard which can lead to an easy win. In Ubers, Eternatus uses Cosmic Power, Recover, Meteor Beam, and Dragon Pulse. Eternatus is immune to Toxic and is difficult to immediately taunt because it's so fast. Instead of using Stored Power, it uses Meteor Beam to gain special attack. It can afford to do so because it's so bulky that it's tough to expose the vulnerability while charging its Meteor Beam. Its ability Pressure also helps as it reduces the number of critical hit opportunities by draining attacking PP faster. Necrozma Duskmane is one of the most common Pokemon in Ubers, but because the Morning Sun only has 8 PP, it eventually loses to Eternatus. The most common way of trying to deal with it is by using Thunder Wave Necrozma Duskmane and trying to win with Paralysis chances and critical hit chances. In the RU tier, Metagross uses Cosmic Power, Meteor Mash, Body Press, and Rest. Similar to Eternatus, Metagross is immune to Toxic and instead uses Meteor Mash to gain attack. However, it also has the option to use Body Press. This gives it a good attacking combination as steel and fighting is unresisted. Metagross is very difficult to bring down because even Pokemon that have taunt have to deal with relatively powerful meteor mashes and body presses. The main weakness of Metagross is that it has to use rest instead of a move like recover. That means it's a sitting duck for two turns every time it needs to heal, which increases the chance of getting critical hit. Amnesia, Iron Defense, Body Press, Rest, Registeel is also used in the UU or RU tier. While Registeel is completely crippled by Taunt, its bulk is insane on both sides and is difficult to KO. It's affectionately called Chinese Registeel because it was used by Team China in the UU World Cup to great success. Registeel is simultaneously the most annoying and the easiest one to deal with. Because Registeel does not have any outs versus Taunt or Haze, there are some matchups where it can do nothing. But if you are unprepared for it, it's the most annoying one to deal with because of its raw bulk. Renuclus can use Calm Mind, Acid Armor, Recover, and Stored Power by using Magic Guard to be immune to Toxic. Similar to Mew and OU, you would have to be creative with your team to deal with Dark types. In the NU tier, Zatu is a great Cosmic Power user because it has Magic Bounce. This means it can bounce off Toxic and Taunt. It uses Cosmic Power, Stored Power, Roost, and either Dazzling Gleam or Heat Wave. Dazzling Gleam is usually preferred to hit Dark types. The difference between Zatu and something like Mew is that Zatu has taunt protection built in. That means it can use its fourth move to hit dark types, unlike Mew or even Renuclus. The disadvantage of Zatu, however, is that it's relatively less bulky than Mew, and its flying type does give it some more weaknesses. Crit Me Not Sweepers don't care about resisting a lot of attacks because they can boost past neutral attacks anyway. They do care about having as few weaknesses as possible because super effective critical hits are the most threatening. In particular, Stone Edge has a high critical hit ratio and is super effective versus Zatu. The only way through is to critical hit or boost faster than Zatu with a Swords Dance user like S Cavalier. Even in Little Cup, these strategies exist. Cosmic Power Natu is an idea that works similarly to Cosmic Power Zatu in NU. Because the most common dark type in Little Cup is Ponyard, Natu rarely uses Dazzling Gleam and instead uses Heat Wave to also hit Steel types. One disadvantage is that Natu can lose its Eviolite bulk through knockoff, so it's very important for Natu to accumulate a lot of boost as quickly as it can to offset the loss in bulk from the inevitable knockoff. Shellos is another try and it uses Curse, Amnesia, and Facade. It takes advantage of the fact that Toxic is not a very good move in Little Cup and doesn't need to be immune to Toxic like every other Pokemon mentioned before. Shellos cannot be knocked off because of its ability Sticky Hold and eventually after it boosts enough with Curse and Amnesia, its base 48 attack starts hitting hard enough. All these Pokemon use Leftovers or Eeveelite in the case of Little Cup, but they can also use Weakness Policy to turn their stored powers even stronger. As a whole, these strategies really only became popular in Generation 8, however there are some exceptions. In Generation 6, Mega Slowbro could use Calm Mind, Iron Defense, Rest, and use its ability Shell Armor to be immune to critical hits. 
However, it doesn't get stored power and is vulnerable to taunt. Acid Armor Renewcliff is definitely something you could see in old generations like in Generation 7, but before that it would be playing with fire. Generation 8 was a coming out party for these do-nothing crit me not sweepers. The crit mechanics, the increase in distribution of cosmic power and stored power, and the introduction of body press finally created the perfect circumstances for crit me not sweepers to not only survive, but thrive.